Hello, it's Kitcher Baskin here. I wanted to give an update on some of the over-ready equipment I've got. Uh, this is uh, an old Surefire U2 body. The over-ready adapter, the Cryos Cooling Bezel, Delrin Bezel Ring. I've got this crenellated ones, but th these work what nice. This is the one we put for a ceiling bounce in the in the bedroom when we're watching movies or something. Glow in the dark triad tail, clicky switch. It's got a triple XPLD domed. Then I I took the lens off, and uh, it also has a, uh, a one half minus green Lee filter on it to try to get rid of some of that green. Here's a compact 50 millimeter body with a zero res shorty switch uh, gray triad tail cap really smooth diamondback slim body this holds an 18650 just like all four of these flashlights and the cryos cooling be uh, bezel the uh, another delrin a black um, bezel ring uh, this has a D-domed XML2. Here is one of the no longer available, I believe. I'm not sure they're going to make any more. Well, you know, they call it, I believe, a 6-2-Z when it's a whole flashlight. And they sold 2-Z's body. I think they call them 2-Z. Uh, this is... Uh, <clears throat> radio control car fuel nitro fuel tubing that I've got on it and uh, this is one of my main uh, walking flashlights it's got the um, Z32 cryos cooling bezel that is a titanium be uh, bezel ring and it's a triple Nichia 219B about a 5000K uh, solid copper module, the module from Nail Bender. The rest of this is over ready. And uh, this is a Delrin tail cap. I really like the Delrin tail cap. So it's a single speed. So a triple Nitya, great for forest. And here's a Another 2Z body. I'm sorry, this is a stainless steel. That's a stainless steel bezel that I got from Cryos. Um, this one does have the titanium bezel ring. And it has, currently it has a, um, a T6 3C XML2 I got from Nail Bender, but Nitro's modified it to a driver that works for me, no memory mode. So, <clears throat> smoothie bezel, natural Delrin tail cap, clicky. Well, there you have it.